And if you are one of the millions who plan to view it on Monday, there are a few things you need to know. You heard Stephanie's tips, but let's ask Dr. Joe Pesh. He's an astrophysicist with the National Science Foundation. Dr. Pesh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Uh, good morning. So we've been talking about the importance of wearing these glasses. I have a pair of them as well. So do you. Is there yes. anything else you can do to safely view the eclipse? So you can use a, a pinhole projection, so a small pinhole and a piece of cardboard, for example, oh. not to look through. Absolutely don't do that, but let the sunlight project through that and, and you know, see what the projection looks like. Uh, if you have leaves on the trees, you can use the leaves as a, as a pinhole camera and look at the little shadows on the ground, and that's quite spectacular. But yes, absolutely, even in totality, do not uh, look at the sun without the sunglasses, the, the solar glasses. I do love the part of looking at the leaves. That's something I never thought of before. We know this particular eclipse will give scientists a chance to study a mysterious part of the sun. I hear there's a lot of excitement in the science world. Tell us more about that. Why is this so important for the scientific community? So the outer atmosphere, the, the most extended part of the atmosphere of the sun is called the corona, which means crown in Latin, because it looks like a crown. And uh, when, as, as you see it here, it, it, it shows up when the uh, vast portion of the light of the sun is blocked out because it's very faint. But what's interesting about it is that it's extremely hot. So we're moving away from the sun, the solar surface, and temperatures should drop. But instead, this extended atmosphere is very hot, millions of degrees. And it's uh, not entirely clear why that is. It's probably magnetic fields coming from the sun that are depositing energy into this uh, low-density gas and plasma. Uh, and it's a, it's a very rare thing to study because historically we've only seen it during solar eclipses. Very exciting. Nowadays, modern astronomers have instruments that can block that out, but sure. it's an important component of the sun. Speaking of modern technology, we know NASA is planning to launch three sounding rockets. How is that information collected going to be used? This is all, you know, all additional information about the sun. And the more information we have, the better we can, we can, uh, we can understand our, you know, the, the, the most important uh, component of our solar system. There's something else I wanted to ask you about. Many people believe the eclipse could interfere with power grids, possibly GPS systems in multiple states. Is there any truth to that? And if so, how is that possible from a total eclipse? So that's probably unlikely from the total eclipse. On the other hand, the, there's activity on the sun that can affect power grids. Uh, uh, we call them coronal mass ejections, and they're large eruptions of material coming from the surface of the sun. But the eclipse itself uh, doesn't have any effect like that. It's just a, a wonderful thing to, to view. As a scientist, what are you most excited about tomorrow, sir? Well, I, you know, the eclipse is, is not a completely rare event. It's a rare for any individual, and it's a beautiful event. Uh, for me, the most important thing is the, uh, the enthusiasm of the public, right? This is an accessible astronomical activity that millions of people can participate in. And I think that's fantastic. And if it encourages someone to uh, go into STEM or to learn more about science and technology, then that's, uh, you know, that's terrific. I'm with you. A lot of us so excited about tomorrow. Dr. Joe Pesh, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And tomorrow, tune in to News Nation's special coverage of the great American eclipse starts at 9 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.